As oral arguments on the Arroyo case resumed at the Supreme Court, lawyers raised doubts on the independence of the joint panel of the Department of Justice and the Commission on Elections. The joint panel holds former President Norma Kapagal Arroyo and three others liable for alleged vote rigging in the 2007 senatorial elections. The Arroyo comes says Commission on Elections Chairman Sixto Brillantes should have inhibited from the proceedings because he was the lawyer of the late actor Fernando Paul Jr., the biggest rival of Arroyo in the 2004 presidential elections. He maintains up to this day that Poe won the presidency. But Perlantes says it is up to him if he will inhibit or not. Arroyo star Benjamin Santos says Brillantes should not have participated in the investigation because it was his vote that clinched the Paul Barris decision to approve the electoral sabotage charge against Arroyo. Okay, kung walang quorum, then walang enough na votes, walang case. O maski yun lang de facto na, yun lang de facto na yung dalawa eh, sabi nila eh. Hindi pa kami na, hindi pa namin ang pag-aaralan eh. So dapat, higyan sila ng pagkakataon para mapag-aaralan. Diba? Eh wala, parang binaliwala eh. Collegial ito eh. The Comelec and Bank voted 5-2 on November 18 to charge Arroyo and three others with electoral sabotage. Aside from Brillantes, Commissioners Roberto Lim, René Sarmiento, Elias Yusuf, and Gas Lagman voted for the filing of the case. Commissioners Lucinito Tagle and Armando Velasco abstained, saying they had not read the documents attached to the case before the commission met to vote on it. The lawyer Verosco accused ex-Comelec boss Benjamin Abalos says the perceived bias of the Comelec would affect issues surrounding the validity of the panel, which is now being questioned before the Supreme Court. It goes into the validity because if it uh, violates the rule of independence mm -hmm. of the constitutional body, that's against the Constitution also. So that's a violation of the Constitution also. So that will go into the validity of the panel. Supreme Court will consider these arguments as it decides on the legality of the joint investigation. Critics have accused the Supreme Court of being politicized because 12 out of 15 justices are Arroyo appointees. But Arroyo comes says the Comelec suffers from the same flaw. This is the case of the pot calling the kettle black. Purple Romero reporting from Manila.